Welcome to Simplified Triple Studies. In this video, I will be discussing method of measurement of angular velocity or angular speed. We have already discussed few methods in the last session. DC tachometer generator, AC tachometer generator and photoelectric tachometer. Now, I am going to discuss one more method that is eddy current tachometer in this session. Before beginning the session, I request you that if you are really pleased with this channel, I, requ I request you to subscribe and if it is more useful, kindly share with your friends, colleagues, etc. And also don't forget to put uh, press the bell, bell icon. Once I am going to upload the video, definitely will be notified. Let us talk about eddy current tachometer. Anyway, you, have, you, have, you know the importance of eddy current. Okay, anyway, you know what is Faraday's laws of electromagnetic induction. Suppose, consider two permanent magnet, north pole, another will be south pole. Just an example, in between you are keeping a conductor. You know that the magnetic flux that will be traveling from or that will be direct from north pole to south pole, like this. Okay. And you know that the flux will be interacting with the conductor. As a result, the flux linkage takes place and EMF will be induced. Along with the, the EMF is induced, suppose if the conductor is closed, there will be a formulation of continuous circulating current. There will be formation of circulating current. That particular circulating current is known as eddy current. One angle eddy current is uh, con. But if I take, if I talk about eddy current, there are lot of pros. Okay, definitely there are pros and cons eddy current because con. If I talk about disadvantage, my, I mean con. Uh, the problem is heating effect. Okay, more amount of uh, heat will be generated, and also eddy current is directly proportional to the frequency. Okay, you know. And uh, in the in the sense, uh, if I talk about the advantage, we can make use of the many things. You might have heard about the induction stove that is based on eddy current heating only. Okay, so we are going to start a new playlist on utilization of electrical power. In that, I will be discussing about different type of heating methods. Okay, uh, let's come to the point. So regarding the eddy current, I have just given the brief information about eddy current. Now, if I talk about the eddy current type tachometer, first of all, what you are supposed to do is you need to consider the diagram. So we have a permanent magnet. Can you see the permanent magnet? This is your permanent magnet which is having north pole and south pole i have indicated here i put a tick mark here now you can able to see there is a rotating shaft a mechanical shaft a rotating shaft okay of an engine or whatever it may be that is directly connected to the particular permanent magnet i put a tick mark here yes now you need to have two conductors the conductors are one is steel cup here i have marked another one is aluminium cup aluminium cup and steel cup has been placed like this the steel cup is linked with rotating shaft. Okay, it's a three-dimensional figure you just imagine. But uh, whatever the figure which is given, that is 2D. There are limitations. Now, if I talk about the aluminum cup, you need to connect a spring. Look at this spring. And uh, this is your dial and a pointer. It's a measurement system. I put a, a square bracket. Oh, okay, a square uh, border. This is actually the measurement setup. Clear? As the rotating shaft moves, shaft is rotating in this direction direction they have specified here so with respect to the rotation okay with respect to the rotation what what is going to happen means the eddy current will be generating in the steel cup and aluminium cup is it true or not eddy current is going to generate okay uh, due to the eddy current the torque will be produced okay due to the eddy current the torque will be produced with respect to the torque uh, the for, uh, the point, the deflection will be taken place here. You will be getting the measurement. You'll, you are able to get the measurement. It is very clear. With respect to the torque, you are able to get the measurement. So, let me ask one question. Why do you use spring here? Why? Because the deflecting torque should be equal to controlling torque. Okay. Deflecting torque is generated due to ND current. That uh, torque has to be compensated. Then only you can able to get the measurement. So, deflecting torque must be always equal to controlling torque. Then only the pointer... Uh, keeps in a particular position in a dial it should be pointed no so deflection torque should be equal to controlling torque that means damping should be taken place clear so this is the way how 
the indication will be taken place let's come to the point as the speed of the rotation sh rotating shaft is high of course the torque will be more more torque will be generated therefore you are able to get the particular uh, reading corresponding to the increasing torque so this is the way how a decurrent tachometer operates so uh, let us look at the construction shaft is connected to a permanent magnet steel and aluminium cup is available then spring is for controlling torque and dial and pointer is there for measurement setup so it works based on the eddy currency eddy current produced in the disc both aluminium and steel produces of course a deflecting torque that is true it depends on the disc rotation how fast it is going to rotate as the speed increases of course it's rotated it is rotating very fastly uh, and eddy current varies and uh, changes in the deflection and obtained output so output scale can be calibrated in terms of shaft speed so certain calibrations are required so this is regarding eddy current tachometer in this session i have discussed one more type measure one one more method of measurement of uh, speed angular speed or angular velocity so rest of the method i already covered in my previous video uh, the link is available in the description box and i button kindly go through that first later you can come back to this particular video and uh, if you need any extra topic which i wanted to do i request you to put a certain uh, comment your own comment you can put in the comment box definitely that is a great input for me i'm expecting for that and also you if you require the notes kindly share your mail id definitely i will revert i'm trying to share the ppt to my students so definitely uh, i i'll try to help you uh, as much as possible okay anyway i am very thankful for your kind support happy learning have a good day